Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay. Um, this is Thrifty Thursday, where we go to a thrift store and we see what we can find. I went to a local thrift store in a little town just over from where I live. When you walk in the front door, they always have these shelves. And usually on these shelves are like these specialty items and they're a little higher price. But today there was really hardly anything. Like here's a few Christmas things. Um... And then there were some little baskets back here, but nothing that really caught my eye. Um, but I always stop to look at this stuff. It's like I can't come in the thrift store, at least this one anyway, without doing that. <laughs> Shells were kind of bare actually. And then they had this wagon sitting in the corner. I thought it was really nice, but it was like $25. And I just felt like that was a bit overpriced. And here was that other little specialty item, specialty shelf. I like that leaf um, tray that was down there. Now this was three for $19.99. No, and those are hideous. So they're completely out of line with that one. And had this vase, but it was broken. This caught my eye because it reminded me of something that my aunts used to have when I was younger. I thought that was a nice little set if you're into that kind of stoneware. I thought that candle holder was nice. Then I always make my way over to the frames. It was kind of out of order and disorderly right now. Everything was stacked on top of each other and it was hard to look at things, you know, with one hand. I didn't want to cause a picture frame avalanche here but they had some nice um frames that i could see i missed that little gold that big gold one under there i should have looked at that my eye was so set on looking at this this is just some kind of french type painting i thought it was kind of nice so that's why i wanted to look at that i should have looked at the one underneath there man gotta go back <laughs> Um, this was some kind of stone-like sculpture type thing. It was heavy. thought it was nice. So then moving down the row, um, just more frames, more pictures. And then this big painting here, this rose picture here caught my eye. I thought the frame was nice and sturdy. I thought that flower was pretty. I think it was like $24 for that too. That little bowl on that um, wooden plank was nice, those three little bowls. And then this is just another little area that I always like to stop and look at before I get to the aisles. Didn't have much again. Looked like a lot of things was pick, were picked over, but that's okay. It's like that sometimes when you go to the thrift store, it's hit or miss. Now this is um, the basket aisle. I always like coming down here. That's one of my favorite spots. This sign was misplaced. It was put on the basket aisle, so I just looked at it. <laughs> Moving right along, they had quite a few new baskets here, but nothing that really caught my eye. I thought this one was nice. It looks like something you could put a plant in or something. I thought these three little baskets were nice also. Yeah, here they always have quite a few baskets. There's a cornucopia <laughs> and a lot of Eastery looking baskets to me anyways. That one with the handles was kind of cute. I didn't pick it up or anything but yeah just a lot of baskets but nothing that was really catching my eye all right moving right along to the next aisle this just looks like a lot of randomness was on this aisle some shelves some signs different little things that shelf looks nice back there and also this welcome to my garden sign that was nice super nice yeah not seeing too much here though
What do you guys look for when you go to the thrift store? I love baskets. I love beautiful dishes. I love wood items. Um, you know, like little shelves and things like that. Um, I like nice frames, um, things like that. What do you guys look for when you go? I thought this little cabinet was interesting. I don't know what it used to be, be used for, but if someone really wanted, they could make it in for anything they want for the craft room. You could even fancy it up for your kitchen or whatever. Now, I saw these wooden plates. They were different. I had never seen a plate made out of wood like this. Um, and they were from Pier 1 Imports, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, they were. Um, there were seven of them. Um, I just didn't know how you, to use them. Would you put hot food on them? Would you only use them for a picnic or something? And then that wood was kind of dark. The stain on it, and that dark stain just isn't quite what I would like. So I left those there. I wanted to take a peek and see what this little black tray was about too. I don't know. After I look back, I wish I hadn't tossed those like that. I should have sat them down gently. <laughs> but it was just a little black tray with different teapots on there. Mm. Not interested. <laughs> Walk by faith, yes, that's what we must always do. What is this, what are these? I see these a lot at thrift stores. Let me know down in the comments what that is. All right, now this aisle just had a lot of glass vases and jars on it. Um, so I like to go down here and look. Sometimes you can find some nice jars with lids that you can use for different things. But there were tons and I wasn't seeing too much down here. And over here on the opposite side, there were was a lot of iron, wrought iron type things like baskets and candle holders and different things like that. They had all these little buckets, but they were odd shaped to me. Um, <laughs> So I just wanted to take a look at those to see what that was about. And then they did have this tray here. It was really heavy. I thought it was really pretty. It was a little bit expensive though. I think it was $16 or $17 for this tray. $16. Yeah, but it was really sturdy and really pretty to me. Now over on this aisle, they had some wreaths, just random wreaths and garlands and things like that. It looked a little jumbled. I saw these red berries and I just thought I'd take a peek at that. And then this is the plastic aisle. I don't usually get anything plastic from the thrift store. <laughs> and this is another aisle that I like that have pots, pans, and like serving dishes and things like that. Sometimes you can find some nice, um, pans and things that was like a big meat grinder that thing was super heavy I wanted to make sure I put it up there correctly I didn't want it to fall and they had all kinds of bowls and things like that I'm really lately into um I'm really lately into the that dark brown amber glass I think I'm gonna start just collecting a few items in that amber glass. I thought that was a nice pot, but it was obviously broken on the top. And down here, they actually put cookbooks by the pots. They didn't used to have this like this, but I thought it was nice that they added these books to this little area. Just making how to make just different cake recipes and grilling recipes. And then they had one um, about crock pots. I thought that's nice because I love using crock pots to make one pot meals kind of so I just 
thumb through that really quickly. <laughs> And on this aisle, I think this was where they had Christmas items, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know, you know, Christmas is coming, but it's hard for me to look at a lot of Christmas things right now. Maybe this wasn't the Christmas aisle. I think this was just some random jars and random glasswares. Those were $2.99 and there weren't even, wasn't even any jelly in it. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> I thought this was a nice um, little bottle and, and it had that etched on the glass, those flowers. I thought that was really pretty. Yep, and just a lot of random jars and they had some little, um, yeah, these little pictures here. I had a lot of those. Those are nice sometimes. And then just different things, some sugar bowls and I couldn't even understand what that was about. It looked like someone had put glue over it so it was hard. Um, and then they had some salt and pepper shakers and then coffee mugs were coming up also. Just a lot of random different coffee mugs. I didn't see anything interesting. And that's how it is sometimes when you go to the thrift store. It's hit and miss. Sometimes you just walk through. Sometimes I like to walk through to decompress. Sometimes I'm on a mission to find something. Um, but I just wanted to walk through and just get used to filming, first of all, in a thrift store. Now here we are, guys, at these punch bowls again. I have a certain, I think it's nostalgia um, about punch bowls because of the parties we used to have growing up and all the beautiful punch bowls that would be there with my my parents would have a birthday party and then this aisle has just different yeah this is the christmas aisle all the random christmas items it was a little awkward down here because there was a lady and i didn't want to get all in her way and then have my camera all in her way so i was just looking back and forth they had these nice glasses i thought were nice i didn't quite like the blue on them but I thought they were nice. I thought this little shelf was nice. It looks like something you would put in like a reading area at your house. It's just a little shelf with a teapot and a plate and some books. You just would sit that there. And this was like a little trinket aisle. Sometimes you can find some cute little things down here. So I always like to take a peek down here too. Some vintage -y looking things. And then this is the next area that I'll check on. They usually have appliances and things over here. And I always like to look here. Um, they have some coffee makers and different things like that. Waffle makers, toasters. Nothing that was catching my eye though. Um, I did see some old-fashioned crock pots. I thought that was nice. To me, the newer style ones don't cook like the old-fashioned ones do. So <laughs> one day, maybe I'll come across a good old-fashioned one and I'll buy it. And then they had this little Cuisinart espresso machine. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. And then I decided to stop in this thrift store on my way home from work one day. Um, I stopped at the books. I had read this book before, Into the Wild, such a good book. Um, I would recommend reading it. Um, also, um, sometimes you can go through here and you can find some pretty good books. So, Oh, Into Thin Air, I also read that one. I like those, both of those books are about defying the human spirit, you know. He was lost on Mount Everest. You know what I mean? I like books like that. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, now this is the aisle that they have their pictures and frames on so much more organized. So I just always like to go walk down here and check out these to see what I can find. They had a few things here, but nothing that really was eye catching for me. I thought these little stone things would be nice to hang um, on the front porch, but they were broken, so. I thought this was really pretty. I like that black and white floor on there. It was something you would hang in your bathroom. And this little scenery picture caught my eye too. It almost looks like that. Isn't there something called Kincaid? It reminded me of that. When I was a little girl, I used to love to look at those. I thought that was really nice. And here we are at more baskets. <laughs> That's cute, a little watermelon basket. And they had tons of Easter baskets at this place. I didn't see any um, anything that really caught my eye here either. That was nice, but you know, I can get that brand new at Dollar General for probably the same price. So I didn't bother buying that. Yeah, and they just had a lot of random baskets here also. I missed that little shovel with the, ho the holly and stuff on it. I would have liked to have looked at that. I didn't even see it until I was looking at the video. I thought, oh man, maybe I'll go back in there and see what that was about. <laughs> Moving on to the next aisle. It looked like it had some Christmas items, some Halloween items um, down here. Things kind of looked picked over here too, but I still wanted to go through and look. Now they had, that was um, a nice little candle holder. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would gotten it. Now these cute little bird cage tea light holders were cute. They were $3.99 each. I think I would have felt better if they were a set price, like all three of them for a certain price. Um, but those were cute. And then down here, you had a lot of um, the stainless steel things. I think that's what it's called. Um, uh, quite a bit of it. That's what this whole aisle was down here. And that little teapot thing was there. That was kind of different. I don't know what that was. That's just an odd looking, I think it was a cookie jar, perhaps. Now here we are at the wood items. I think that's a magazine rack. They had a nice shelf there with some um, hooks on it. Are these bookends? I thought those were nice. Those were pretty. Now here's another one of those little rolly door things. What do you guys think this is? Is it a something for your desk? Is it a bread box? What is it?
on this side they had all of the silverware and kitchen utensils. Oh, I saw those uh, cookie cutters. I think they were $4.99 for the bunch of them. The next aisle, all of the plastic and little trinkety things were on there. And here, hey, when I saw these, I laughed. These are at Dollar Tree. The thrift store has them for $2.99. No way. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I like these little gravy bolts. Those are always nice. Little sugar dishes and canisters. And you know I always have to stop and look at the dishes, for sure. <laughs> punch bowls, punch bowls everywhere. I like those too. <laughs> I thought this bowl was kind of unique. I like that, I love that amber glass. They had a lot of candle holders too. A lot of them look like they came from the Dollar Tree. And of course, the Christmas aisle. Just wanted to run down here really quickly. I thought these were nice. North Pole Road and Holly Jolly Avenue. Yeah, $4.99 for each of them. I thought those were kind of nice. The face on this little statue is terrifying. Oh my gosh, I can't. So here we are, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Now this um, punch bowl and cups I got from that, remember the first thrift video I did? I went back and I got this beautiful punch bowl and these five cups and they um, sold it to me for $15.99. I mean for $15. I thought that was a, a good deal. I think it's really pretty. I love the design on it. It's really heavy and sturdy and I, and I really, really like it. I looked it up and it's worth a lot more than $15, so that's why I was really <clears throat> excited to, to get it. I think it's so pretty, and I, and I probably will use it, you know, on occasion. I just love it. And then um, at the thrift store, I, the last one I was at, I saw these beautiful plates. Um, I bought those. Those were $7, and there are seven plates, so they were a dollar each. And the on the back, on the side of them, it just has Indonesia on it. So I looked them up. They they're, can be sold um, for a small price, but I think I might use them. I love them. I really appreciate you guys joining me today and, and following along with me as I go to these thrift stores. If you like this kind of content, let me know and I'll do it a lot more often on Thursdays probably though. I appreciate each and every one of you. And let me know what you guys think of these two items that I got. And remember, when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. <laughs>